what is up YouTube in this video we will look into the top data engineering certifications that will help you with your career in 2024 so as you gear up for the next year which is no more than four months from now and it is kind of really essential nowadays to have certification in place especially once you're working with a cloud uh, it really gives you a, a hallmark of being like a certified engineer that you have the knowledge right so uh, we will look into different types of certification and different aspects and how you can really select certain certifications uh, and and kind of plan your way out for the next year in this four months, right? Let's look into this in detail. So yeah, before we move on to the actual certification and which one to select, first quickly, let's take a step back and look into why do you even need the certification in place? There are a few reasons around it, right? The, one of the biggest reason is you want to kind of uh, prove your worth, right? So you, if you're certified as a certain cloud data engineer or cloud associate architect, you have that brand or you, you have that stamp from an authorized organization, usually a cloud provider, that you are a certified engineer. So you have what it takes to become an engineer. You have kind of put in some efforts to pass in an exam which is actually really important that you kind of have a merit in terms of your knowledge, right? Another point is these cloud providers, and usually the certification I'm talking about is around cloud, right? So these cloud providers are really changing in terms of the offerings they are doing, are really changing the technology. So a lot of the cloud providers are continuously evolving, continuously changing in terms of uh, competition, in terms of newer technologies. So they are kind, kind of coming out with the latest and greatest things, right? So these kind of certifications keep you up to the speed. If there's an update in terms of the technology, usually these certifications are also like kind of covering that. So then you have the knowledge in terms of what's coming out and which which is the latest thing out there. So yeah, and in general, it kind of helps you stand out uh, in your career. So for example, uh, when I'm recruiting someone and if there is mention they are certified engineer in, in a certain aspect of, of the cloud, and we are kind of hiring for that particular cloud, the, the, the profile really stand out and, and kind of give you a quick boost. Essentially, it's not everything, but yeah, it kind of gives you a boost in terms of the profile. When, when you're kind of scanning resumes, you see a person who is certified. It definitely helps because then as a, as a recruiter or as a, uh, as a hiring manager or a, even as an engineer, I would know that this person has gone through the trouble of clearing that certificate. All right, next up, which is an important topic and an important point, how do you select the right certifications for yourself, right? Uh, they're gonna, there are a few points I really wanna cover, which will help you kind of decide which certification is kind of up for you. Uh, so the first point is kind of understand your goals, right? So you need to understand from your perspective what you're kind of looking at. So for example, if you're an engineer, uh, maybe if you're an analyst, right? If you're already an analyst or data analyst and you kind of wanna move into the field of data engineering, certification around data engineering is important, right? Uh, so these, this is the thought you kind of need to consider, right? Uh, understand where, where you are kind of coming from. And for, from your perspective, if you are into a company and you see a specific cloud provider, for, for example, Azure is really being used uh, uh, along the organization and you don't have experience with it, then definitely go for an Azure certification, right? And the second point is like market trend. One of the biggest factor is the market share, right? Um, like the first thing is like, which is the most popular cloud provider? So if you look at this uh, chart, from, I, will, I will leave a link from statista.com, uh, which clearly dis discusses the, the Q2 2023, um, the market share of cloud providers in Q2 2023. So you can see Amazon is, uh, is the leader. So if you think directly in that way, you wanna be in a market where there's the biggest demand because most of the ma maximum number of companies are actually using AWS or anything else. Uh, so you can really go for AWS because of the high market share, you would know there would be more job opportunities out there. So if, if your case is that you're a fresh uh, engineer or a data engineer who really wants to enter the market, then I would definitely recommend going into for AWS because this would have the biggest job opportunity. The second consideration is uh, upcoming cloud providers. So uh, there's Azure from Microsoft, which is really catching up these days. If you think about it, uh, they're really capturing the market and then there's also a possibility that because they're quickly growing and then they're really capturing the market, there's a possibility there's not many as many engineers. This also marks a good territory for you to be in. And if your organization is already on the platform or already uses Power BI, quite a lot of chance that they are using uh, Azure as well because these uh, the, because the connectivity is quite um, easy in, in this case. So you need to understand that part. Uh, uh, for other things, for machine learning capabilities, Google has the highest machine learning capabilities. If you think around those areas, then Google Cloud also become 
an important aspect around machine learning because they they have a platform called Vertex AI which really targets around feature engineering uh, and really building models from from bottom up. But yeah, all, all these cloud providers are good enough, right? So you need to think about where you're coming from. If you're just entering the market, definitely go for AWS. But if you if you wanna take the risk, maybe just check out Azure or Google Cloud if you think it's being used. The other point could be diversification. For example, like for me. I was always like very well versed with AWS cloud, but then I kind of, I wanted to diversify my resume, right? So if you had AWS expertise, but you want to diversify, because when you're kind of interviewing for other job opportunities, you always don't know which cloud provider they are using. It kind of really opens up the space for you because then there's more opportunity. If you're targeting all three, like all top three providers, AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud, you have the more chance. But then your profile would, would look a bit flat because then you know, you, you won't look as a specialist. So it's good to target yourself in a certain position. So yeah, these certifications can really, really help you in terms of that. So for example, if you have like four certifications around AWS, then you would be known as the person who really knows AWS Cloud, right? Yeah, uh, another thing is uh, you can look at the prices and the costs associated with it. You can look into like the prices of certifications. Usually it's around the same value, $200, $300, but like really some certifications are really expensive. So you can always consider the fact that, um, that if something is worth your investment, right? So you can think around that. And even like the courses, if the materials is free, and if you only need to pay for the certification cost, then I think it's one of the factors you can consider because if you're investing something in terms of cost and uh, time, it should be really worth it, right? Let's look into the top certifications around data and engineering you should aim at, right? I'm gonna give you some options. The idea is kind of for you to decide which one works well for you. Feel free to check out this article from me. I, I kind of posted this a while back, maybe two weeks back, right? So so yeah, just just have a look. So the first one is the biggest contender out there, which is AWS. AWS doesn't have a specified data engineering uh, certificate from what I know, uh, but they ha they do have certified big data speciality, which essentially targets the data engineers. Um, I think one of the key aspect for this certification is AWS is the biggest market, which in turn has a lot more opportunities. Uh, also in AWS, there's a lot more services going on. There's like SageMaker, uh, there's EMR, and there's like whatnot, right? So I think this certification can really guide you through with which services you can use for what. So if you already like are working in AWS, this will help definitely help you kind of double down on the services which you feel are really important. So yeah, that's the first out of it. Uh, it really, it also like covers big uh, stream analytics, real-time analytics, like I'm, I'm using Amazon Kinesis. Uh, Redshift is like the warehousing facility. So yeah, I think, um, AWS already has all the services in place uh, for every data workload, like be data engineering, data science, right? So I think this is a good spot to be in. Uh, you will be like a really specialist in terms of once you get this certificate. So yeah, uh, the, as I discussed, the demand demand is high because AWS has a global presence. Uh, AWS also is in China. That's also another part, an option, which is the Azure Data Engineering Associate. Uh, this is actually a good certification to have if you're targeting Microsoft. Microsoft is like really growing in Asia lately and it has range of services. Uh, even though I'm not fond of all the services out there such as Data Factory, but I think Synapse Analytics, Team Analytics, or uh, uh, the Data Lake Storage, and also has Databricks integration. Uh, so I think this is also a good place to be in because if you're a certified Microsoft engineer, Azure in general is growing across different clients. Uh, they're really upselling these services. And, and they're really trying to get as a data, get into the data space. So the growth is high. I don't see the exam being very complicated, uh, but yeah, take my word with a grain of salt that, uh, because I haven't given this certification exam yet, but I do plan to kind of work my way through this year. Maybe by 2024, I have this certificate, but yeah, stay tuned if you, if you want to watch my journey uh, for this Microsoft certification, I will do it probably later. So yeah, it, the range of services include uh, it, uh, Data Factory, Data Bricks, because they really embrace Data Bricks here. But they have Synapse Analytics, which is good. So yeah, they have everything in place. They have Azure Devo DevOps, uh, which is good. The demand is high. I think it is a good place to be in, and I think that's where my bet is. Uh, but yeah, take my word for the with a grain of salt, I would say. The next is prof uh, Google Data Certified uh, Professional Data Engineer. Uh, I I really recommend this certificate uh, if you're like. If you want to get into this space, Google has a very clean cloud platform already. It's like I feel Google is hasn't like 
isn't like throwing everything like into the space and making things complicated. Like services such as BigQuery, uh, Dataproc, uh, these are very clean and easy to use. Cloud is also growing. If companies wanna get really get into machine learning and AI tech, uh, Google has those capabilities. So hence for those companies, um, the data being in Google Cloud is actually a good thing. So hence there is an opportunity. Like I have in Asia, I've worked in uh, Google Cloud a lot and that's where was my expertise was in and I did got the certification. I really recommend it. Uh, one of the key idea is that the Google brand is already like really good, right? And then it's also a niche. So for example, not everyone is like focusing on Google Cloud, but if you're focusing on Google Cloud, you your resume like really stands out because there's not many people with this certification, right? Uh, they also have hands-on lab, which are really good once you're preparing, you, you really get hands-on. Yeah, I think they have a very good course, A Cloud Guru, uh, which was uh, very helpful in terms of cleaning the certificate. Databricks, I think I also really recommend getting a Databricks certificate, especially this associate developer Apache Spark. So if you're someone who has really worked in Spark, right? Or if you are someone who wants to get into the knowledge of Spark, I think this really certifies you that you really have the knowledge of like Apache Spark. Because uh, even though from the top it looks easy, Spark can really get complicated in in terms of when you're doubling down on building applications or, or, or building pipelines or uh, features or, and whatnot. So you, you really need to have the knowledge of like configuring Spark parameters, YAML parameters on how to make your pipelines really efficient. Because actually Spark is the main framework which is being used at the moment, which is like highly used framework for big data engineering. So if you really deal with big data, I think this certification is the way to go. Um, if there's a job opportunity around Spark, I think if you have this certificate, that would really um, that would really uplift your resume. It will really show showcase that you have the knowledge on what it takes. Uh, because uh, it's not as easy to work with Spark, definitely from my experience. I've also kind of in between struggled a bit, but uh, but yeah, it has hands-on development. It covers all the fundamentals. So I would really recommend someone who's aiming for a big data engineering role. It's, it's pretty big. I would say this is also a certification I would really want to aim for. The popularity of Spark actually outmatches in terms of the big data engineering. I, I think this is the, the, the framework at the moment around big data engineering. So yeah, I think really go for it if you're just want to go for Spark. There is a data break certified machine learning associate, which is important, but I would kind of counterly, I, I can swipe this with Databricks uh, data engineering exam. I've given that already. Uh, if you go to the data engineering associate, I think this also really covers the whole Databricks platform. It is really problem popular as a, as a data platform, uh, really pushing towards its, especially its integration with Spark, the lake house being like one of the center of uh, one of the latest technology they've come up in the last couple of years because uh, because how it kind of uh, obsoletes like having two things such as data lake and warehouse in place you can just really work with the lake house technology uh, i think it's really it's really big at the moment and then still like growing so i think it's also a good idea to kind of get this certificate if you really want to be in the space of data engineering they have certifications for data analysts data scientists and like which is like machine learning and also like the spark one so yeah, this, this is pretty good if you want to get into the space of data, Databricks. If you see this opportunity, Databricks, like if you see this being used, uh, especially when you're working with Azure, a lot of the times Databricks is being used. So I think uh, I would encourage someone to get into this ecosystem of Azure and Databricks. It, it would really help you a lot. I am also kind of trying to do the same, like getting, uh, I already have like this Databricks Associate Certificate. I have this, the Certified Data Engineering Associate. Planning to get the professional one and also planning to get the Spark one in the future. So this would kind of also help me to have my own niche because yeah, uh, even though like uh, Databricks being really popular, but I don't see a lot of people being certified from Databricks. So yeah, that's my take on it in terms of uh, having a Databricks certificate. Now that we have looked into the the, the certificates, let's look into how do you prep up for these certificates. So I don't know if you've like followed me on other videos, but in my certification videos, I really follow this three-step method, the three-step method to pass any exam. So I think that's what the approach for anyone should be. So the first, this first step is preparation. So the idea of preparation is to kind of find the right resource, so right? Uh, in, my, in my videos, I really recommend like which resource can be really helpful for preparation. Usually these certification have an official preparation uh, guide or a preparation tutorial or a preparation like slide and whatnot. But a lot of the times these official guides are too extended and it's like looking into all these different concepts. 
but not in terms of looking towards the the direction of clearing exam it it kind of really covers the technologies and what's out there but it's not covering how do you pass the exam so a lot of the times you really need to look for the right tutorials in place so you can find them on udemy you can find them on a cloud guru or you can just google your way out like look for recommendations across reddit right so yeah that's what i do i find the right course i definitely do the 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 official uh tutorial provided by the cloud companies but i also like extend my we out and I'll try to do other uh non official courses because it's really double double downs on like how uh, the questions are being asked right so that's important like for example I mentioned Google Data Professional Engineering exam uh, for me the A Cloud Guru course was really helpful against the official uh courses provided by Google on Quick Labs because the official courses were like really broad but the A Cloud Guru was really narrowing down on how to clear the certifications uh, so yeah that's one of the things So yeah um the second step in my process is preparing the notes i usually document everything on what i'm preparing so that i always go back uh and look into the details for example in this case um a professional data engineering exam like i have everything in place uh, on what i studied uh and like i really document it i really write it down that's that's my way of doing things because it really helps me remember but i also do like screenshots on like what i'm preparing for so i have these professional data engineering the official course which i did uh from quick labs i also did this um a cloud guru course which is prepped up here so it has everything in place the materials the intro yeah or everything this is all kind of prepare my notes i usually share this in my other videos so if you want just check out my other videos on preparation of for google cloud engineering um databricks engineering so yeah that's that's how the second step is the last step is kind of uh doing the uh, mock exam and that's what i usually do the mock exam is also like really important because uh it really gives you a sense of how the questions will be asked in the exam the actual exam questions are not the same but the, the flow is similar it really gives you a sense right so i would also suggest looking into first party mock exam and third party mock exams in udemy because they are also like very key in terms of your preparation um because you prep up like you really get up to the seat and you if you're giving like 5 6 mock exams you're really comfortable uh doing those questions in the certain time frame sometimes the questions being asked are also very similar on a similar note so it really helps uh it really helps you to kind of uh clear the certificate like if you, that's the the last mile is like doing the mock exam and actually that's the most important part so yeah definitely do the mock exam if you don't have the time just go for the mock exam i would recommend uh and yeah I think these these are the three points. All right. Uh so the last topic before we conclude this video is how you can give the certification exam for free. There's a caveat to it. The idea is uh you need to be involved with an organization which is like a partner. Um uh, so all these cloud companies are trying to get partner with the companies who are kind of doing this engineering like for me uh in my previous organization and current organizations i we had different cloud companies as a partner so these part uh, this partner title for these companies kind of requires uh their resources to have the certification in the first place so as a partner these really these company provide free materials for you to access like for example databricks uh google cloud or azure aws if your company is kind of partnered with them you can really check with the admin or hr or the the engineer lead if your company is like tied to it as a partner so there's a high chance of you getting a voucher and a f- maybe a free exam voucher 50% discount voucher uh and the material is usually free if you are a partner so so yeah definitely check within the organization if you if they are partner they, they would happily hand out free vouchers to you or discounted vouchers which will essentially help you reduce the burden of the exam because yeah if in case you fail the exams you you need to pay again So that's the kind of pressure I would say it's not a lot it's just like but then there's some kind of pressure you need still need in the place but yeah voucher having voucher in place kind of really reduce the burden of the the price I think you this video will really helped you in terms of the options we had on how we can, how we can decide the certification why do you need certification so I I kind of covered all the topics which came to my mind because I really am hands down doing certifications even though I don't do every of it but like I I have the the flow the knowledge around like some of them which I can really impart to you guys so yeah that's about it in terms of this video if you really like this video definitely hit the like button right and uh, share my channel subscribe to the channel it really helps me a lot to push my content to people like you 
Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.